back alley with her soon to be ex husband. That- it's like we had we had so much. Yeah, there was the the con- Yeah, no, she that was the weirdest. I've never seen somebody go through like a. It was maniacal. It was it was insane because she was. We were having a, a really good time in Vegas. Like we had we had so much. Yeah, there was the the comment about not having a man. We shook that off a, so fast though. It was fine, and then we and then that whole it took us like four hours to get to Havasu, mm-hmm. but we had such like a bonding moment. I was like, this is great. Look at us gals coming together, and then we get to Havasu, and she shows up to dinner as like a completely different person. And it just all goes to shit. And then she goes back to L.A. and gives a very, very, very different version of the entire trip to, to everyone. And they all believed it. And they all believed that it. would track. But that is not how it went down. I think what they don't understand is people can evolve. People can change. People can be humbled. But because that group at the time had never experienced those types of things, they just thought that Katie and I invited her on this trip to... I don't know, bully her is basically what she said we did. Yeah. Could not have been further from the truth. But I remember after Havasu, and I don't know if I shared this with you guys or not, I have a scene that didn't make it with Sheena and Ariana. And I tell them how the trip went and what she said about not having a man. And they laugh about it. And they they talk about that being savage. And I said, well, I don't think they're so savage now. Right. right? Like it's because not it's- so savage when it's your man that she's fucking. Mm-hmm. And by the way, I am thrilled that I have treated her poorly for many years because look <laughs> at what she does to people that are nice to her. Right. You that's, know, yeah. that's that's why I said to Ariana, I was like, I don't I think she's broken. Like, I don't think it's like this is somebody who like is just does this to some people, not everyone. I don't think she, like I think she's this is a, a flaw in her. And I would be careful. Like, I don't, I don't, I know you're saying that she's a good friend, but like, she's, I think she's evil. Right. I think she's truly to her core evil person. And we praised that line on last week's podcast episode because that was, we totally agreed when you said that, like, this is who she is. She's showing you who she is. She doesn't just treat some people like shit and then some people wonderfully. I think, and I, I compared it to like, when you go out with someone, if they treat the waiter like shit, that's who they are. Yes. When people yes. show you who they are, believe them. And it's yeah. usually the negative traits. And that was so spot on. It's like she's not just evil to some people and an angel to others. That's who she is. And it's who she, and it's exactly what she was doing. Like yes. I know I like and and for her to have that conversation with Ariana by the back bar in the last episode and, and under the like, trying to take temperature to see if Ariana was maybe, you know, gonna try to break up with Sandoval mm-hmm. or something like that, or she could convince her to. All under the guise of trying to be a friend. Right. Like, that's the evil. That's evilness right there. And so I just... Um, I've never I'm, come across a person of this nature ever. So it just, again, I'm still trying to process it all in right. my mind. You know, I just... I mean, she definitely needs some sort of help. Help. She right. really really does and and that and it's that's i'm not even excusing all that she did because of it either because it just was nonstop. and you know what i couldn't understand is all along throughout this season you girls were like given the title of the mean girls right but yet how was it not perceived that what she was doing was just as mean and just as it attacking. Comes, I just it comes down to like I've brought this up to you. It's a likability thing because she's always been a likable person. She was, you know, with James and she was this sweet, sort of like meek person who couldn't really stand her ground. And then here she is, you know, stepping out on her own and this whole thing. Where I and Lala for the past how many years have been someone who's strong and assertive and has opinions and it's it's a very misogynistic yes. thing that yes. that goes on right. that people don't whether and it's male and female that that feel this way about other women that it just is not acceptable mm-hmm. it's not palatable it rubs people the wrong way it doesn't make you very likable some people admire it what's up but um <laughs> but you know that for other people they they're just like they you, you know you you become a bitch you become negative you become difficult it's just not like a likable things even though there it is i think it's a great quality to have to be somebody that's strong